Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. In the last one, we actually got to meet a new partner. And we also finally figured out what we need to do here. So, first things first, I actually found this, so I want to do this real quick. So, right where the sun meets the top of this palace, you can actually find one of the berry stone, um, the stones that we need to find in order to, um, put them inside the little toad statues. So I was able to find this one on my own, just by the fact that um, this place is very like ominous with the whole sun being able to be kind of like matched up into it. So I kind of had a feeling to just dig around. I didn't exactly run right into this one, but I kind of like dug around this area and just all over the place because I had the ability to, so I just did it anyways. But now we have one of the many stones we need to find for those towers. But other than that, let's continue. Whoa, well, you dig up, dug up some kind of strange rock. What is it? Hmm, it's quite old. It might be an ancient treasure, or simply an ancient rock. Either way, I advise that you hang on to it. Okay, let's grab on onto it then. The round jewel. A round jewel found by the lake shore. So that's going to be one of four of those stones we need to find. But I also wanted to do this as well, because... I actually saved up enough money to buy the Silver Garden Plus, because I feel like we're going to be able to at least go inside the dungeon for the Velmental in this episode. I'm not entirely sure, but I am pretty sure that we're going to be maybe making it there in this episode. So, first things first, let's throw on the Silver Guard and we're ready to continue on with this story. So, where wanted us to go in the last episode? and told us to go to the hotel, so that's where we're gonna go. So, let's do this. Into the hotel, and then to his room, if I remember correctly. So, that shouldn't be too hard, right? All we have to do is read his wall of his room. I don't know why we had to go all the way back to his room, because I'm not sure what exactly it would tell us. But, let's see, it was on the right... And then the first one on the left, right? So open this up, and let's take him to his room. Uh, so we're gonna, going to be roommates, eh? Well, I'm a bit of a loud studier. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. So let's see here, you said you wanted to look at the mural here? Shroom City Chronicle, Chapter 3, Shrooms' Dynasty Golden Age. Sharing the wealth, rolling, rolling rules. You wanted me to come in here? Uh, okay. I'm gonna guess it's probably not that one. I think it's the one on the, um, the top bit, actually. I have a feeling that's actually where it wants us to go because of the fact that we saw this one first. So it makes more sense. Who's talking? Um, no, it's him, okay. Aw, oh, there is more ancient writing on this mural. Let's see. And there's the circle stone that we just got, the round jewel on the uh, second mural, as we can see. When all the full toads align their eyes, a shroomy temple shall arise. Yes, yes, the fabled temple of shrooms. It is said that there one, was once a colossal structure in this desert, built by the ancient ones. However, no trace remains. It is a mystery that keeps me and my fellow archaeologists employed. Um, are those four things surrounding it eyeballs? They kind of give me the creeps, like they're following me. Well, obviously, he just said it when their eyes align. Well, this is certainly a valuable clue. A bit more obscure than I'd liked, like, but important for sure. I'll file the translation away in my notes. You can check them any time by pressing L. Okay, thanks, I guess. Let's read the next one, then. Above the desert mushroom rise... Go spark a flame within their eyes. Uh, something's coming out of the eyes. Doesn't it look like someone we've seen before? Hmm. I've added my translation to my notes. Okay. Thank you. And there's the earth elemental, so... Or not earth, fire, oops. Find six of out and gather all the fire spirit they will call. Whoa, is that some kind of bird? I'm worried it's gonna get fried. Um, I've added this translation to my notes. Okay, thank you. And one more. 
To meet the Velemental same, the ritual is like a game. The six devout will, bra will back this claim. If we need to perform some kind of ritual, why isn't it spelled out there? Wait a minute, is that the... yeah, that's the phoenix statues. Wait a minute. So, we need to sing some kind of song then, based on the fact that those, um, that Olivia was trying to sing there, and due to the fact that there's a mic stand there. So we need a song that we don't have. What does that mean? Anyway, like, go over this way. Hmm. Ah, sweet senor thesis. The rest must be on the other side of the stall. Yeah, it looks like we gotta get back into his old room then. Ah, uh, pardon me. I'm afraid that the room is occupied. If you're looking for the occupant, he's fellow. He's a fellow in green clothing, with a mustache not unlike yours. Oh, and he said he was going to visit some of the local merchant stalls. Best of luck, sir. Local merchant stalls. Hmm. So it must be Luigi then. Hey, green guy. Could that be the same green guy we know? Hmm. They told me that room needed to be fumigated. No matter, let's seek out this green mustache and convince him to let us inside. Okay, let's go find Luigi then. I've added all the translations to my notes. Press L if you need to read them. Okay, thank you, Toad. Okay, so let's do this. Should we give him a nickname because he's just called Professor Toad? Um, hmm. Honestly, I don't know. We can't name him Toadsworth because that's our... Because that's already a name for um, the grandfather toad that's in um, Peach's employ, so we can't name him that. Hmm. I'm gonna name him Todd. That sounds like a decent name. So, ooh, actually I see an L over there. I have a feeling that might be where we should go. It's literally a green L, let's be honest. That's definitely where we're going. So, how do we get there? Oh, here we go. I've never actually went over here before, so this is the first time. Um, let's see if this guy knows where he is. Ah, uh, step right up. You could win 10,000 coins. It only costs 100 coins to enter. Wanna play? Uh, sure. We'll play your game. Ah, uh, very good. The rules are simple. You must simply guess my sniffity, sniffly mood. You will have three tries. Are you ready? It's as easy as reading my face. Well, you can't really see your face, buddy. Okay, um, let's just go pick in all four of them. We'll eventually get the answer right. Uh, sad sniff. Are you sure about your answer? Yeah, sure. Is sad sniff correct? Are you just gonna answer me? Eh, hey, wrong. Um, okay. Nope, so sorry. Let's try again. The number of chances you have left is two. Okay. Um, Snickering Sniff. Let's go with that, then. It's probably going to be the same one back-to-back, uh, -back, let's be honest. So we're just going to keep guessing until we get it by choosing through all the options. Although I'm kind of confused why he's taking his time. Eh, Bronk. Nope, so sorry. Let's try again. The number of chances you have left is one. Okay. Well, just give me my choices, please. Uh, strange sniff. Um, are you sure about your answer? Sure. Honestly, I'm not even sure if that's what you are doing, because I can't really see your face anyways, buddy. So honestly, this is kind of a hard game. Eh, wrong. Nope, so sorry. Now I'm afraid I did forget to mention one thing at the start. The game only costs 100 coins to begin, but losing your uh, losing costs your freedom. Please kindly make your way to the Freedom Containment Chamber without any fuss. As a consolation, you will share the space with any previous contestants for an et all eternity. There is one other option. You can try again. This time it will be a thousand coins to play. Do you want to try? Uh, sure. I don't have the money for it, though. Ah, uh, you don't even have a thousand coins. I guess your freedom will have to suffice. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Wait, that's not my fault, though. I literally had no way of getting a thousand coins. So Luigi is in there. Um, Mario? <laughs> Wait, did I just get a game over because... Oh. Huh. 
Uh, okay then, thanks game. So, how is that fair? So I need to go find a thousand coins then before doing this thing then. Ah, shoot. And uh, yeah, no thanks. Okay, so we, um, I might have to do a skimp here for a thousand coins, because I'm kind of low on cash. I used all my money on the, <laughs> on the other thing, so I'll be right back once I actually get a little bit of money. So, be your b-boys and girls, sorry for the cut. Okay, I am back after getting some coins. It didn't take me that long. I had to do, like, three battles, but still. But now we're back, so let's do this. So let's play. So it's the top left one again is the last one, I would believe. Ah, huh, wise decision. And eight easy coins for me. <laughs> Remember, you get three tries. Good luck. <laughs> so this thing's definitely rigged. So good thing I thought about the, um, the fourth option maybe being the answer. Are you sure about your answer? Sure. Do I get three choices again, or do I only get one? Because I'm pretty sure Spiteful Sniff is what he's, his face would be. Really? Nope, too bad. <laughs> you have two choices left. Hehe, <laughs> here we go. Really? That was the one that was on my screen before. Oh, shoot. What could the answer be, then? Um, Snickering Sniff. I don't know. I could have sworn I selected that already. So I guess it's just hope and pray that I get the answer right then. Because honestly, I don't think we're going to just get it. We have to like cheat our way, right? So that would make sense. Oh, I got it. Um, how did you do that? Okay, good. I was about to say, I thought I was getting myself put into the genie lamp again. And becoming uh, the next um, main character for Aladdin. <laughs> uh, no one wins this game. I mean, congratulations. Uh, look over there. I guess I'm not getting my 10,000 coins. Ooh, 1,000 arm spots. Okay, so that's how we're going to get our Luigi. Wait, where are the 10,000 coins? I'm starting to feel like this is a scam, Mario. You didn't think of that beforehand? Hey, at least we got a quick thrill out of it. My heart is racing. Okay, 1,000 fold arms. Let's uh, rub the lamp and turn Luigi into a genie, I guess. Because... That would count as a genie, right? I... Do I get three wishes now? <laughs> I'm joking, I probably won't. Um, Mario, you saved me. I doesn't mean uh, you actually won the game. How did you do that? Nah, don't answer. I want to try and beat it myself. Anyway, guess what? I got the key to Princess Peach's castle, really. It's probably the key for the room that we're trying to get into. Yep, sweet key. Sweet, a key. To the sweet. Can it help unlock the mystery in the murals? Eh, who knows. Can you believe it? The hotel had it just sitting in the front desk. To the, the key to Pe Peach's castle. They also had a really nice pool. I could use a vacation. Ah, uh, Luigi, oh dear. Wait, what? They said it was a sweet key. And Peach is the sweetest person I know, so... Hi, don't worry. I'm not giving up. I'll find that key, and I'm going to come back in here and win this carnival game, too. Bye-bye. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that slippery brother of yours. He came out of the genie lamp, so do you think he can grant us a few wishes? That's what I said. Um, well, we did get the sweet key. Now we can take another look at the rest of the mu that mural. So he just owes us two more wishes. Well, true, I guess. But I don't think Luigi's magical. Just gonna be honest there. So, to the sweet key with the sweet key. Or, sweet key with the sweet key. To the sweet with the sweet key. And that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I had to do at least one, honestly. Okay, so, um, let's save first so we don't die, because that can very much happen. And, he, of course, he stole my 1,000 coins, too. So he stole 1,100 coins from me. For literally nothing. And trying to kill me as well. Which he did end up killing me, because, um, yeah, we saw the game over earlier. So let's see here, the sweet key for the sweet room. 
Um, wonder who could be behind this door, honestly. That... Wait, there's multiple doors. Oh, I'm glad they didn't wallpaper over the rest of the mural. Professor, if you please. Um, yes, yes. Um, let's see here. Huh? What do you say? Oh, it appears to depict some kind of ancient ritual. The body movements are quite distinct indeed. That looks like the toad on the mural on the left. It is also oddly specific about who must perform this ritual special incantation. Yes, the text suggests that it must be performed by someone with a melodic, melodic voice and mega pipes. Don't shoot the translator, but that sounds like it could be you, Olivia. Hmm. Honestly, that is true, because we did have the whole singing bit with Olivia earlier, with the whole point with Phoenix statues in the beginning. In the uh, last episode, not the beginning of the last episode, but near the end-ish, when we solved the uh, Phoenix puzzle. What? Me? No way. A melodic voice? Mega pipes me? I mean, I suppose my pipes are kind of mega, and I can carry a tune. Oh, I don't know about this, but if it helps unwind the streamer from the sand, I'll do it. Oh, um, excellent. Then let the lesson begin. What kind of lesson is it, exactly? Hear me fire, or oh, burning something. Something. A flame. No, no, starting- oh no, that's- no, that's Olivia. Okay, so Olivia's singing that, and then To- um, or Todd is sing- is, uh, teaching, okay. I wasn't- I thought that was Todd singing, honestly, for a second. No, no, start again, but feel the words. You must belt it out with the boldness of the Ancient One. Well, none of us know what the Ancient One is like, so honestly, who- how are we supposed to know? Yes, that's it. Now turn to the left and know your left. And bounce, twirl, and thrust. Hmm. Well, they look, um, pooped. Um, how did I do? Uh, I knew my mana, my mana in ancient dance would pay off one day. You did splendidly, Olivia. I, be I believe you're ready to perform the full ritual. Give it all you've got. Alright, I'll do my best. <laughs> Okay, is that all we're doing here? Wait, what's this? Oh, I thought that was a door. Okay. Uh, let's check the right of the room. There's gotta be something else here, right? And I was right on that. There is indeed something back here. Let's check it out. It is a... one of the little desert toad towers. Okay, that's pretty cool. And what's this? Ooh, just a random block. Okay. Anything else we need to look here? It doesn't seem like it's... So, I guess where we're going is the uh, Phoenix Tower, but I'm not sure if we're going to get any more story by the time we get over there. So, just in case, we're going to keep uh, rolling, and just in case. You never know. Because it might just bring up, like, oh, um, we should probably go to this location, or... If it doesn't bring it up by the time we leave the town, I think then we'll do a skimp. I think. Because there's, there's no way that it's just going to have one randomly in the desert. I think it'll randomly bring it up when we get to the Phoenix ta uh, Towers. Actually, you know what? It's not even going to take that long, honestly. Because it's not like we're, we don't know where to go. We actually do know where to go, so... It shouldn't take that long to find where we're... Or get there, honestly, so... Let's get in our boots, and let's steer on all the way back to the beginning of the area. I wish I could take the, um orange pipe, but sadly that's all the way at the beginning of the area, not in the town. So, let's just do a nice hold R, um, ZR, I mean. Usually that's the R button on the older controllers. Uh, so, let's go straight to where we need to go. That's all I can really say, because, honestly, I don't know what this right's like, because we actually didn't get to see it, so we only got to hear a little bit of it, so. Hopefully where we're going... With this Phoenix uh, puzzle. Doesn't hurt us too much. Okay. And here we are. The mic stand and where we need to be. Okay, Olivia, let's do this. My heart's a burning. A new song. Let's do it. Oh, can you hear me? Are you there? Are you there? I could really use some help right now. Wait, is this a song 
Do you care? Are you there? Fire is burning in my chest now. Wait, is this supposed to be... It's a flame I call your name. I want to see you in the pulp now. Let's let's all rise up and join together. For a second it looked like it was like an off-brand version of Disco Inferno at the very beginning. <laughs> That's why I was confused with the wording of that. Oh, it really did do something. Uh, what's that? Don't tell me we're about to fight some kind of giant golem. Okay, it's definitely not a golem. And I think that's where the fire, fire of elemental is going to be. It definitely looks like he elemental layer, that's for sure. Um, does that mean the ceremony worked? The scholarly implications are staggering. Imagine the antiques. Uh, antiquates. Oh, wait. Oh, and that's plural of antiques. Okay, I was... I haven't seen that, actually. Imagine the antiquities that lie sleeping, waiting to be awakened by the right performance. I'll certainly need voice lessons, and perhaps a choreographer. Another time, let us go inside and pre prepare to meet a god. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Was I really singing loudly enough to wake up an ancient temple? Well... Let's go inside the fire elemental temple. It definitely looks like it could. Be. Yeah, this is definitely one. Okay. Well, it definitely answers my question. I uh, uh. So that's why the bird's mouth was glowing from the outside. Everything is in, on fire in here. That's not good, honestly. We're paper, so uh, yeah. If we touch that, we're probably going to instantly turn into um ash. Wait. What about it? You know what I just realized? Doing that song and dance that the mural taught us is kind of like knocking on the Fire Elemental's front door. And that means the Fire Elemental might be here and we might get to meet it. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I'm pretty sure it's honestly a Fire, Mental, fire Elemental, let's be honest. Look at the place where we're at. You don't seem surprised. Did you already know that or something? Yep. That wasn't too hard to actually guess. And you just let me keep talking. How funny of you, Mario. Well, it doesn't look like Mario actually talks in this game. He hasn't talked in any Paper Mario game, I'm pretty sure. Um, I must say, the fire of elemental business is not my area of expertise. Despite my curiosity, I'm afraid I must sit this one out, as they say. Unrelated, have I mentioned that I have a deep and debilitating feel of fire? Oh, Professor, you should have said something earlier. Um, why don't you wait here and try to not catch on fire while Mario sorts this out? Alright, well, see you later, Todd. Let's do this. So, how big is this dungeon, honestly? Because it took so long to get here in the first place. Oh, it's a pattern we have to follow. Okay. I think I remember it. It looks like this. Ah, yay, yay, yay. Okay, um. Do it again. Let me pay more close attention. I thought it was going in a different way. Okay. I see it. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, and then this one, and GG. I didn't pay too much attention the first time, I'll be honest. Which is my fault, honestly, but... At least we got in the second time, honestly. Because I was paying a lot more attention to it. Okay, let's get that extra coin since we are kind of low now. So it's better in the case that we get those. And that's the first time we've ever fought a red paratrooper. Okay, that was very close for him getting a free hit on me. Well, he ended up getting it anyways. I was trying to dodge, but he moves way too quick for me to actually do that. Ooh, two new enemies, actually. Technically, the second one's not new, because we did see it before. So honestly, it's technically not new, per se. But it's definitely our first time fighting it. We saw that inside the breezy uh, mines earlier. But we kind of ran it over and instantly destroyed it. Let's be honest. Um, should we do shiny iron boots? I think that would be the good good one to do, so let's go for shiny iron boots. 
One, two, three, four, 29 damage is enough to take out the paratroopers. Good to know. And we don't actually know how many damage we need to do to these guys. So... Let me, let me look at my hammers. Let me make sure that isn't the only flashy hammer or, um, or one of those we have. It looks like we have an extra one, so we can use this one. Okay, let's use our flashy hammer then. Charge it up as much as possible so we can kind of figure out how much health it might have. So 34 damage is enough to knock it out. That's good to know, at least. So the other one was 26, if I remember correctly. Okay, so they're not too hard, so we don't have to use the strong weapons. It seems like. Seems like we can go with the weaker ones. I was just making sure we can one-shot them. Okay, so let's see here. Paper- mini Paper Macho Shy Guys. Um... How are we gonna fight these guys? Looks like they're grabbing some kind of oil. Setting it on fire. Okay... That's a little dangerous. Let's try and get rid of them. Okay, you have to smack them. Got it. That's actually really good to know. Just smack them all in the face. Run away so you don't get turned into flames. And try and get rid of as many of them as we can. Just keep smacking them as much as possible, though. And if they drop their um, fire bowl, it looks like they instantly go down as well. Okay, that should be the final one. Unless there's another one hiding somewhere. That wasn't too hard. I like these puzzles some- Uh, thanks I guess for the free health, I guess? Hmm, where should we go? Is oh, it looks like only one way. Okay, I thought we can go down for a second. I like the puzzles in this game. Sometimes they're really fun. Like, the, they're kind of like reminding me of um, Legend of Zelda puzzles. Oh, here we go. Let's watch out for the giant flaming bird of prey. It looks like you have to jump over it. I kind of messed it up, but it's not that hard, honestly. It's just I messed it up. Let's fix up this hole, because you never know. Maybe there's something I need to do there. There's a coin pot over there, but I don't know how to get to it. This turned off, so it looks like we can go this way now. Keep going. Jump over that instead get hit by it. Oops. Oh, okay. Let's heal on the bench. That's a definitely a good thing to do. Jeez, even the bench is burning hot. At least we're both super alert right now, right? True. Well, at least we're full health again. Let's wait for the Phoenix statue again. Will I get hit if I'm standing on this here? It doesn't look like it's spawning. Okay. How does this one work? Oh, I actually jumped over that for once. How do you get these? I've seen one of those earlier, and I didn't know how to get that earlier. Strange. Ooh. Ow. That kind of hurt. Well, let's get her. Ooh, free shiny mushroom. Let's just run for it, honestly. Another phoenix statue. Jump, jump. Ow, that one just spawned out of nowhere. Thanks, though. Um, this place can't be that big, honestly, if this is their puzzles. This is pretty easy to solve. As long as you don't, like, take too many hits, you honestly can get through this just by rushing it. If you really wanted to. Okay, well, that was easy. There's a save here. Not sure if we're in the end yet, so I'm not going to go through just yet. I want to make sure. Just in case, you never know. So let's throw that in there. Fix up the hole, get our extra coins, just because I want to have at least a little bit extra coins. Um, This is for 50, right? I'm actually not 100% because I don't use my mushrooms that often. So yeah, 50. Good. So that's a full heal. Let's save one more time just to get the full heal. More Shy Guys. Hey, buddies. This time we got a lot more, though. Not hard, though. We actually know how to do this. Definitely one of the easier puzzles. I actually really like the, this little mini game Because it's not the hardest thing ever, honestly. You just gotta make sure you're doing it correctly. And if you do it correctly, you can actually do this pretty easily and fast. And as long as you know how they're running, you can also mess around with them a little bit as well. So honestly, it's like, not hard at all. Ooh. He, oh, I thought he burned the, uh, that other one for me. But sadly, he didn't. Hmm? Wait, what just happened? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, did we only have to get rid of a certain amount of them? Wait a minute, I think they're changing... Yeah, they're changing attack pattern. Okay. 
So they all turn themselves on fire, so that's actually a GG easy, actually. Um, thanks, I guess? That wasn't hard at all. Thank you for changing your attack pattern. You made it ten times easier for me. Do you think we're going to get another Max Heart for doing this area? I'm not entirely sure myself, but it definitely could happen. A confetti bag. Um, hmm. Is there any place we're going to need that for this place? Oh yeah, there's definitely- yeah, we definitely needed one of those. Let's watch out for the paratrooper so we don't have to fight him. The less battles with the normal enemies as possible is actually better, because I actually have more fun without doing those fights, as you guys know. So let's try and see if we can avoid as many as we can. As long as we dodge this um, fire um, hammer bro, we should be fine. And we got all the bottomless pits for this area. I jumped into the lava trying to dodge him, honestly. Okay, there we go. Just make sure we dodge all of that and then we can just keep going. I want to get that treasure uh, chest that that other guy was on. I'm pretty sure I can grab that without aggroing him. Never mind, it looks like we have to aggro him. Oh yeah, we'll do it, honestly. It's not that hard. These guys are definitely weaker. They're from the um, the Princess Peach uh, boat, honestly. That's the first time we saw them. So we're definitely going to be able to fight them. Okay, let's line them up. Oops, I lined up the paratroopers in the wrong order. That could be bad, actually, because we can't hit them with our boots. Hmm. Shakes the ground dealing damage to all enemies. Does it count for flying enemies? I don't know. I was able to find one of these pound blocks. I want to test it, actually. So, doink. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Let's get rid of the, um, the Fire Bros. Okay, so that's the name of them. I thought they were just called Fire Hammer Bros, honestly. Okay, well, let's knock out the Fire Bros. And now we just got the Red Paratroopas, which are a little dangerous, but that's not that bad, actually, in damage-wise. I didn't notice that we had extra moves. That's entirely my fault, I'll be honest. Slide them there. This is an easy puzzle. And GG, not bad at all. I'm going to test something, because we know that the um, shiny iron boots does enough damage. Let's see if the regular iron boots do enough damage, as long as you have the times 1.5 damage. 21 damage is enough to knock these guys out. Good to know. Okay, so we don't have to do too much when it comes to damage. So if we don't line them up correctly, we could still go for the freebie. That's good to know, actually. And a firefly or treasure. Fitting, honestly. Well, we got all the treasures for this area. I don't know if there's any toads. Actually, let's check the map. You know what? Might as well. I just want to know just in case. Yeah, no toads here. Okay, well, that's not hard at all then. This is definitely going to turn on, isn't it? Oh, no, nope. it's not turning on, but it's definitely um turning into a fire version of a drinking burden. Can I stop walking off this because my um I'm pushing down on the controller on accident? There we go. Oh, seriously, I didn't even notice that they were disappearing. I thought they were just already disappeared. Okay. Let me heal just in case because we might accidentally go down if I don't heal. So, let's see here. Let me pay more attention. I'm going to be quiet for a second. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure that we got to the end of that, that time because I didn't want to go through that a third time. If we didn't really need to. There we go, we're full healed again. We only had to use one mushroom. That definitely looks like the end of this area. I'm going to save one more time just because we just grabbed that heal after the save. And let's go see the fire of elemental, shall we? Well, why could it be its weakness? Um, oh no, we have the water of elemental. Do you think that would... Yeah, that's definitely what we could use against it. So we need to wait for whenever it, like, uses its strongest attack, and then we can use the Water Elemental to all-out attack it for, like, probably half its health, honestly. Um, did you hear that sound? Um, what sound, Olivia? Oh, hello, ho ho It's nice to see you again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make a Pokemon pun. Literally, phoenixes are the first time I ever seen a, saw a phoenix in any kind of culture. Slash, like, pop media or anything like that. It was through, um, Pokemon, and I'll be honest. So honestly, I wanted to at least call it Ho-Oh at least once. Actually, it looks more like a Moltres, actually. Um, it's the Fire of Elemental, alright. 
Look at it burn. But it's not burning up. What an amazing creature. Oh, but the poor thing has been folded into origami. Mario, we've got to cool it down somehow. Yeah, with the water elemental we have, the dragon, but... I don't know if those are technically Olivia still when we use those or not, honestly. Okay, well, here we go with the fire elemental. How is this gonna go? Well, look at this thing. Its wings are huge. A majestic bird like this has to be a elemental. And it's on fire. Totally fitting for a fire elemental. So, what should we do first, Mario? Um, line it up, I guess? Okay, let's see here. We get 80 seconds to line up. I see a tip. We definitely want to grab that, I think. Let's grab... Let's make sure we're going forward first. So let's see here. Slide that there. Slide this one here. And slide the tip in front of us. Like so. Okay, easy. Okay, first puzzle solved pretty easily. Not bad at all. Looks like we're definitely going to be- wait a minute. The thousandfold arms can't touch the fire elemental. While it's on fire, stomp on it with the iron boots. Got it. Iron boots, you say. Well, we definitely have a very, very strong version of the iron boots. So, let's go with those. Okay, so flashy iron boots, let's do this. One, two, three- this does like no damage, but okay. Actually, it did a lot more damage than I thought, actually. Uh, did you see that? Its HP went down when it lost those feathers. I bet it'd really be weak if it lost all the feathers, but also kind of sad. Yeah, that does sound kind of sad, actually. So it looks like we have to jump on it a couple times in order to knock off as many feathers as possible. Not sure how it's going to work, though. Watch out for the fireball that does 30 damage, and I didn't guard it. Molten feathers. We're about to figure out what this does. It lost health for attacking, actually. How do we get rid of the feathers, actually? Oh, watch your routes. Those fiery feathers all over the rings look dangerous. I have a feeling when you walk through them, you're going to get damaged, I think. We're going to go with that, honestly. So, let's try and take the least damaging route. And just go straight forward, honestly. So, slide that there. And then let's grab the Puncheroo and throw it right in front of us. Let's only take one fire damage. That's definitely a better case scenario. If you don't see the panels you need, try opening a chest. I don't trust the chest, those are too random. Not going with that. Flashy iron boots again, and another flashy iron boots. Just go for as many jumps as we can. Because it said we can use the thousandfold arms as long as we attack it enough with the um, flashy iron boots, it sounds like. So we need to get rid of all its feathers, and then we can attack it with the thousandfold arms, it seems like. Although I'm not sure how many of them we need to worry about, ouch. Molten feathers again. It's done a lot of damage to itself just by using those. Okay. Honestly, this is kind of reminding me of, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's her name? Um, Rakan and Zaya. Zaya. Because Zaya throws down her feathers in League of Legends, and then she can use the feathers to damage her enemies. And this kind of reminds me of it, but like a fire variant. Wait, what's going on with those feathers on the um, attack panel over there? They're on like fire, on like extra fire than normal. Alert! Warning! Awuga! There's a lot of burning feathers on the rings. You'd better extinguish them before it's too late. Um, we have no way of doing that. So, we're just going to try and do... Let's see here. Let's throw the movement in front of us. Like always, we always want to do that. We want to make sure that this is in front of us. And we want to make sure this isn't messing us up. So, we're going to take... Actually, let's do this. Let's turn on the on switch. Because we might want to get the... um. The other thing is starting, at least. So let's go with the Flash Iron Boots again. To go for a straight-on jump for him. And this should be easy. One, two, three. And there we go. Four jumps on him. Four more feathers on the floor. Let's see here. Make sure to dodge the Fireball this time. 20 damage if you block. Got it. 
Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of feathers on the floor now. That's dangerous. Okay. So let's see here. Let's make sure what we're doing. So here, definitely. Actually, wait a minute. I want to do this one first. Oh no, no I don't. Okay. Actually, no. No, not that like that. Actually, let's cheer on the toads. You know what? We're going to do one of these. We never really do it, so let's go for a straight 999 coin drop for the toads and see what they do for me. Because sometimes they line up for you. Maybe they'll get rid of some of the feathers for me as well. Ooh, they healed me, actually. That was actually really good. Okay, let's see here. Um, I don't want to move this because it's going to move it in the wrong spot. So, throw this in front of me. Throw this in front of me. And then... Throw one of these treasure chests in front of me, I guess. Let's just make sure we can make it to where we're needing to go. Ooh, water's... Okay, we made the water thing spawn. Okay, good. Now we have that. Okay, so that's how you do it. Use our flashy iron boots, like always. Always a good thing to use. One, two, three, and four. Four more drops onto him. So let's try and use the water of elemental sign if we get the chance to. Oh, he did 22 damage now. Why is that going up in damage? Okay... It doesn't look like he's extinguishing, though. Weird. Well, I definitely have an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of... We're going to take a lot of damage from the fire, but it's honestly going to be worth it. We're going to go for the water elemental, and then we're going to go for... Let's go for... No, not the treasure chest. Let's go for the extra movement. I'm not sure if this is actually going to help me at all, but it's honestly worth a shot, and that does some big damage. Ouch. Okay, Mario's turn. Velmental power, magic circle on. Let's see what this does. So let's use the water Velmental to our advantage, honestly. Hopefully this helps us, because we need to get as many of these off the floor as possible. Did that do any damage to him? Oh, it did! Okay, so that's what we needed to do to get him on the floor. So now we can use the Thousand Fold Arms. Mild Wings, make sure to block because that's a death hit if he actually hit us. Yes, water puts out fires. I probably didn't need to explain that, huh? Oh, honestly, no. Well, if the this Fire Elemental's fire is out, you might be able to attack it without getting burned. Very true. But the first things first, we actually know what to do, so let's do that. Actually, first, cheer. I want the toads to heal me if at all possible. And honestly, I don't mind my using my coins up when we're almost at the end of the episode anyways and I can grind out some coins. So let's see what they can do for me. They gave me a mushroom and they also gave me HP. Thank you, that's actually really good. Okay, let's see here. Now we need one of the movements in front of us. One of these. Okay, wait a minute. Shoot, okay. And that's not what I want to do, so let's make sure we do this right. Let's throw this here. That there, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. We're actually going to be able to use one of these thousand fold arm abilities for the first time this game. And perfectly, actually, for once. Because it told us to do this, so magic circle on. And let's go smack him a couple times. Grimp and smack him as many times as we can. Grab him again. Ooh, we got him by the face now. Pluck him a couple times. Pluck all his hair feathers off. And down goes the fire elemental. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This was the easiest fight out of them all. Because I actually understood the battle mechanics. And look at all that money. We just got all our money we used for the fight in general. Oh, and because we pulled his feathers off of his head, it actually shows the animation of it not having the feathers anymore on the top of his head. Unless I was going away normally, which I'm not entirely sure of. But we finally beat the third elemental uh, in this game. How many are there, actually? We actually don't know. 
Aha, uh -huh, there it is! The Fire of Elemental's Bibliofold! Okay, well, let's use it then. Don't know what we're gonna do with it, but it's always worth a shot. Didn't let me read anything about it, so let's see. Oh wow, this one is the most challenging yet! Those wings, the combination of the mountain and valley faults, and the f improbable fire resistance. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem that bad. Okay, so now we just gotta turn on this symbol. Well, I think I've got the concept down, but can I do it for real? My heart's pa pounding. Okay, well, let's try it out. That's always a at least a worth to at least try. So, let's see how this works. Because we don't know exactly what it's going to do. I have a feeling it's just going to shoot fire, maybe? Like, because of the, um... The Toad Towers have little oil... Um, oil lamps inside them. And I think that's what we're going to need the Fire of Elemental for. So, setting the fires to the oil lamps. And we do have the oil in front of us. So, maybe that's what she's going to shoot. That would make sense, honestly. Oh, oh my. Remember how I said my heart was pounding? Well, now it kind of feels like it's... On fire. <laughs> you do have a heart of a phoenix now. So, let's see how this works. I have a feeling it's definitely about setting oil on fire. Okay, so she's turning it on fire. But why would she do that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it burned the oil to be non-existent. And then let us walk on the path. Oh. Okay, makes sense. I think. Or, in a weird way, but... Okay, makes sense, I guess. I just let all the fire that was burning in my chest come out. And look what happened. Whoa, it looks like those birdies got caught up in the heat. And the moment, what a spectacle. Hmm. Looks like it can also turn on the bird statues. Or phoenix statues, I should say. Okay, and then we have this thing. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, well, let's see where this, uh, Phoenix Trolley takes us? Looks like we're f going further down, though, and not upward. Oh, never mind, we're going back to the front, apparently. Ah, uh, perhaps I should have taken my chances. No, no, a fire temple, fiery temple filled with pitfalls is no place for a professor like me. And it's all good, Todd. We're actually right here and ready to see him. Oh! <laughs> and almost, <laughs> almost killed you, in fact, actually. Uh, Professor, we're back. Oh, thank goodness. I was just beginning to question my career choices. <laughs> okay, let's actually... <laughs> let's go see Todd now. Um, I'm allergic to fire. I'll wait here. Well, let's get out of here then. You won't believe this. Um, we met the fire elemental. It's a giant bird and I turned into the bird. Oh, my heart is still racing. <laughs> um, is that so? Well, it was very exciting out here, too. Yes, I wanted to uh, watch the flames intensely, intently, and I sweated quite profus profusely. Had to wring myself out a few times. In any case, well, well done, Olivia. Here, hoping your newfound of vain affinity moves proves useful to us. Yeah, we're definitely going to need it for the towers. And it looks like we need to turn on the towers in order to make something appear. That's definitely what I have a feeling is happening here. So, in the next one, we're actually going to be on the search for these circles. Or not circles, because they're not all circles. We're going to be looking for all the jewels. We already have one. We need to find the other three. I'm going to um, find exactly where we need to go, so we don't have to do too much of a fetch quest. I'm just going to go one place to the other to the other, and that's how we're going to probably do that. Because I don't want to kind of look around the sand, digging in the sand for the entire episode, and I know you guys don't want to watch that. I think you guys want to see me find them, but not to the point where it takes 5,000 years just to get them all. So, as always, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls, and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. 
Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.